So the next step of sewing our tote bag is completing our straps. So I have my four straps cut out. Here are two right here. I am going to go ahead and take two of them together and align them at the um, long side. I think it was 22 inches long. And I'm going to stitch them at a half an inch all the way down the lengthwise side at a half an inch stitch length. So I'm going to stitch and backstitch at the beginning and end. backstitch here. When I am finished with this, my piece should look like this. So I can open it up. I have my seam here in the middle. Now it's time to press it. So I'm going to take this over to the iron and I'm going to press my seam um, to one side. It doesn't matter which, but I want to iron it definitely from the right side of our strap to make sure that I have a really clean stitch line pressed. After that, I'm going to flip it back over and I'm going to iron in my lengthwise side down a half an inch with the raw edge of my seam allowance towards the inside of the strap, all the way down. And then once I've done that side, I'm going to do the exact same thing here so that both of my seam allowances face each other Lastly, I'm going to press it up so that um, I am going to press it right on that folded stitch line and my seam allowances here should be level with each other. If it helps you to go ahead and draw in a half an inch on that stitch line and then press up on, the, or I'm sorry, on the iron fold line and then press up on the line, you can more, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, if you wanna eyeball it, that's fine, but no matter what, when you fold it in, these seam allowances go together and we should have a crease right on our stitch line and our strap should come together like this. I have a piece that's already ironed and ready to go. I did my little kitchen show ironing trick. And so my strap is completely like in half now. So my seam allowances are raw, they face each other. When it folds up, I'm going to stitch here on the edge capturing this edge as well as my open edge. Okay, so let me go ahead. I think I need to change out my bobbin quickly. And it doesn't matter the next part for the top stitching, which side you do first, if you do the open edge or the folded edge. I'm going to go ahead and just do the folded edge and I'm going to top stitch um, about an eighth of an inch away. So I'm keeping my edge of the fabric level with this prong, um, but whatever works for you in your machine. Stitching and back stitching at the beginning and end. And I wanna be really careful, just making sure that my pieces are level with each other the whole way kind of making them match on top because that's going to give me a really clean, even looking strap. So I chose to close it up first.
stitching the back stitch at the end. Turn my threads all the way. Okay, so it looks like this on one side now. Now I'm just gonna flip it and stitch down and do the exact same thing. Even though this is a closed seam, I want the decorative top stitching to really kind of mirror itself. So I'm stitching the exact same distance away as I did the first time. So that top stitching will be level. exactly the same on both sides. I used a different color bobbin thread, but we see the two clean stitch lines on either edge. And now I'm ready to complete ironing my first strap. Um, I'm going to repeat this process so that they both look like this, and then I'm ready to insert them into the tote bag. <laughs> 